Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today I thought it would be fun to show you guys how I set up my planner for the holidays. Um, I did buy a lot of inserts and I did do a haul video. Uh, I'll make sure to link it somewhere on the screen um, where I showed you guys everything that I got and where I got it from and all the shops are linked in that video as well. Um, but before I do that, I did want to show you my final like fall setup. I did record a video, but of course I've changed it up a bunch of times after that. Just trying to find um, planner piece, but I feel like I'm I'm there or I'm almost there. Um, something that I did change, I did end up buying these clear uh, planner covers from cloth and paper and i love the look i love the clear disc um with this it looks very like super clean and just like i don't know clean and like fancy um i do have a leather cover i have two actually um but i'm just taking a break from those and just leaving my planner just like this and i am loving it um i love seeing the colors come like through um, especially the pink since it is my favorite color so this has not changed uh much this is a pocket holder that i got from poi and hun and this i printed myself from F minimal planner i bought a couple of answers from her but i still uh, i need to print them so this is one of the things that is going to go so i'm gonna go ahead and remove it now oh i need to be more careful this is cardstock so i gotta be a little more gentle because i want to save this of course for next year okay so i do have this uh picture of my dog that um someone drew for me and i do want to add it um to that later Okay, so then my inbox, I need to change up this page probably and update it. I don't know why this gets like this, but here I have, what is this? Like my notes, my list section. Yeah, so this is another car stock that I need to remove. Okay, I don't know how to do this without messing it up that much. I don't mind all of the spending on stickers um, that I do. Okay, so this is just notes that I'm going to keep it that way. This section, it's my like health. Like I rec uh, write down like what I eat, my steps, calories, all that stuff. Um... And I do want to change it up. So I'm going to take actually both of these guys out. Okay. And then probably add some more paper to that section. Okay, next we get into the year. Like my actual planner and i do have a new i made this myself uh but i did purchase a 2022 one but i'm gonna wait till the new year um when i take off all the christmas stuff usually i like starting the new year which is a clean look i don't know why i took this off this has to stay there okay i might use this one um, from cloth and paper again since it is not seasonal but I'm taking this guy off so I'm gonna take out September completely and October since we are been down with those two months and I do keep them I don't know how long I'll keep them for um, but I do have another like setup where I place it in. Okay, so my month, my current month is here. 
And so here I'm going to add December. So let's go ahead and grab that. This is, I just keep all the stuff here. Now, the question is, do I want January? And I feel like I do. So I'm going to... So I like keeping three months in here. So my current month, um, which we're almost at the end. And then I'm going to grab the January divider. Add it here. And then I already have my new year. I'm just going to take out the entire thing. So I'm not going to put any of this up just yet. I'm going to wait. All I want right now is this. So something that's cool that's coming with the new, with the 2022 planners are these sheets. Um, and the first name of the the writer, oh, I don't know, I can't think, um, starts with the, the letter of the first name. It's the letter of the month. So J for January. So, okay, let's grab. There we go. So that, and then this is gonna go back. And then, of course, I will be recording another video when it comes in, uh, close to the new year with my 22, 2022 setup. Okay. Now, I do want to move my paper section. I have this vellum paper from Cloth and Paper that I do love. And I have this one. All my vellum papers are from Tool and Twine. Um, and the dashboards that you'll see. Question is, I don't know where I want to put all this stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out for now. So I have some um, half page paper. I have some daily sheets ready to go. And so I have a packing list and then some extra paper that I use, but I tend to forget that it's back here. So I wanna place it in a new place, like towards the front of the planner. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here. So this is what we got so far. It cleans up. And so first we're going to add a dashboard behind Dream Create Inspire. I still want this to be my cover. I really, really like it. Um, so let's get the dashboards. These are the dashboards I got from Toe and Twine. Um, this one came in a set of four. So I want to use that one. I feel like I want to use this one for December. I feel like that one would be good for January. So we're in between these two. So let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to use this one. I think it's so pretty. Well, they're all pretty. But I think this looks nice with a Dream Trade Inspire in front of it. Okay, and then we got this. I don't think I'll change up this stuff right here. I like how it looks. I like these dusk 
page flags. Okay, so now I'll add the picture of my dog at the end um, right here. I like having that there. So this is not changing. I think I'm going to change up the colors of these guys. So I'm going to put these guys back. So I don't want black on the setup. I do have Prosecco. So let's add some of this. And I just like adding a couple. And I think I'm going to keep that one that color for now. Okay. So those are all the page flags I have. Not page facts. Those are the circle ones that I have. Transparent circle sticky notes. Okay. So now we are going to change. Okay. We need something here. So actually. I can add a vellum paper behind the inbox. So these are the vellum papers that I got. Um, so, funny story, not really funny. I accidentally hole punched this one incorrectly. Um, that's the only thing that I don't love about uh, ordering these is that I have to punch them myself. And I sometimes made a mis um, make mistakes like this one. So I just put some washi to um, repunch. So let's see, do we add this one or this one? This one is not my favorite. This one is gorgeous. I think we're gonna use this one right in between these. And this I made it myself on Canva. Yeah, that looks pretty. Oh, but you barely see it through it. I'm not going to use this one here because I really, really like that one. So let's just go ahead and use this one as my least favorite one. So that way we're not wasting any of my favorites. And then I like adding this is from Lucy. Lucy Plants Life. It was a freebie that I got from my order. And I like clipping that right here. Okay. So now we're here. Put my blood vellums back. Um I'm going to use this one here. This is my notes section. Or actually, so something else I had ordered from Elamon Paper Co. were these cover sheets. So I think I am going to use it. I'm going to 
take this off. And I'll probably bring that back for my 2022 setup. Um, because I do love it. That's another one from my minimal planner that I purchased the digital and then I print it myself. So that way I can use this guy. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so you got that section. Now I need to go into my like health section. And here, what do I got? Do I want to do something like that? I do have some extra cover sheets. Let's see. I got a weekly. Okay, list and pages. I could use this one. Oh, and I do have this vellum one that I also purchased. That one's from Lucy Plants Live. And these are from Elamon Paper Co. Okay. So I'm thinking of this. And then we'll use this guy. So upset that I messed it up there, but it works. Okay. So let's see, so far we got the cover. I'm scratching already. Okay, I like this. I love that. Okay. So now here. Which one should I use? Okay, I said that I wanted this one for December. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. Oh, that's not where I'm supposed to be. How about you put this here? I also have this vellum that I want to find a home for. Oh, this one's so pretty. Okay. Um, something that I'm forgetting is that new section that I wanted to add. So I think here would be a good spot. Where did I put it? Here. That new section, the section that I wanted to move over. Okay, since I'm moving it ahead, I'm gonna put this divider here. And these are my extra sheets. So things that I like having in my planner. I like having a couple of options for daily, cloth and paper. This one, I can't remember. Um, oh, Elemon, Elemon, Elemon paper. I don't know why I can't say. Someone actually sent these to me. So I have two of that, and then I have these. And then I got some um, cloth and paper, Cornell notes. And then I got these dot stickers, dot stickers. Oh my goodness, dot grid. I'm not making sense right now. Okay. Now, we need a cover for this section. And I think I'm gonna use this one.
I want to add, add this in the front. Okay, so now to my planner. I do have this weekly cover. I think I'm going to add and then add this on top. Yeah, super pretty. Because I'm not crazy about this dashboard. This one's from Fancy Plans and this one's the one I made. Um, and then this will be replaced with the 2022. And then November staying the same. December and then January. We're going to add this dashboard. I feel like this one's not like super like Christmassy. So even when I clean out my planner from the Christmas stuff, um, this one will still work. Okay. Let's look through it one more time. Um, I do want to add a Ollie clip. And I have, I got four options. My black one, not sure where it is. I have a pink one. Sorry, my dog. Okay, so right now I do have four, like I said. Um, the black one somewhere else. I have this one that's almost white. I have a pink one. And then I have this one that I just got in. And I think I just want to use this one because it is the newest one. So, and then I'll change it up. Probably for the pink one. I don't know, or the white one. I feel like they all go... So I like keeping these two together. Like so, and that way it goes straight into here. And then I'll change that card when we get closer to December. So we got this cover setup. I love my dashboard. I feel like I need a little bit of more color, but it's okay. Okay, this goes into my notes section. Do I want to add anything? Maybe at this. I like it. See, the thing is, um, this one, it's a thicker vellum. So it's going to hide this a little too much. Okay. So this is my note section. I don't know why this gets scratched so much. And then we go into my list and pages. Which I kind of feel that that should be the cover for this section. I think I need to get a new, a new one, uh, one that says, like, goals. Okay, so I think I'm going to change this. I'm going to put these two over here. And then move these two. Over there. I feel like this is um, less than pages. Okay. And then I'll add this right here. What if I add this? 
this instead. I think that looks cute. Okay, and then we go into this section. Oh, I love this. This starts my weekly. And then November, I just left. I have a vellum, cozy one, one tool and twine. And then I have this other one. Um, I printed this for my minimal planner, self-care. You know what I'm thinking? I should probably, I'm gonna say print this on vellum and I feel like that would be a good cover for my health and like goals. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, not in this video, though, because my printer is currently not working. Okay, so then we got December. And then January. And then on the back of my planner, I have this dashboard for uh, from Fancy Plans. So that way, this is what you see on the back, and I love it. Okay. So other things that I am not using, um, I will use for my 2022, like this right here. I am obsessed with, I cannot wait to use this. Um, this is from Elamon Paper Co. And I also got this one. This one will probably be my cover. And then this will be for that weekly section or that yearly section. And then we'll add this. I love it. We have this one too. So those are just some that I am saving. And then these guys that will be used next year. And that is it guys. Um, I really hope you like this video. And uh, let me know if you are changing up your planner, like me for the holidays. Um, let me know if you're wanting to see my 20, 2022 setup. Um, and yeah, again, I really hope you like this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you guys on the next one.